Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a lot of ways how you can fix too many redirect error on your WordPress site. So the first thing you want to try is to clear your browser's data. So to do this, you just want to click on three dots on your browser, click on settings. Now you want to click on privacy and security and delete browsing data and you want to choose cookies and other site data and cached images and files just like so and just click delete data now if that didn't work then you want to check your website's url configuration you can find it on your file manager for me it's here on dreamhost right there uh, it's for you like a cpanel file manager and after this you want to go to your public html and find a file wconfigphp this one and now you want to edit it open it up and you want to go ahead and enter the code and the code would be this one so you want to enter your website here of course um, just like so i'm gonna leave this code in the comments down below and now you want to save it now after this you want to go ahead and access your database uh, php my admin and go ahead to your um, database of your website and click on sql and here on sql you want to run a code which is this one and after that uh, if it fixed your error that that's great now um Another thing you can try, uh, if that didn't work, you can go ahead and clear your WordPress cache. So I'm using a plugin for a WordPress cache, uh, W3. It's, uh, I'm just gonna show you in a second, uh, W3 total cache. So you can use um, any, for example, WP super catch. There's a lot of options so you go on settings and you empty all of the catches just like so now uh, if that also didn't work you want to go ahead go back to your file manager and try on wp uh, content try to find plugins and you want to go ahead and disable them uh, temporarily so to do this you want to rename it to plugins disabled just like so and click ok and after that uh, rename it back to the plugins uh, like it was before because um after that you want to you want them uh, to work now you want to do the same with um ht access file which is this one you want to again edit it and disable it so we want to rename it and again write down disabled just like so and again if that wasn't a problem then you want to rename it again back to this and the last thing you can do is cloudflare cd and services you want to disable them temporarily so for example i'm using w3 total catch so i want to go ahead to this plugin now for me it's right there cdn i can enable it um, and basically what you want to do is disable it for a, a short period of time you can click on advanced settings and find it here and um, so yeah if this if any of these methods worked for you please leave a like subscribe to this channel and i will see you next time bye